For me, food is all about family. Delicious! And those special moments when we come together over a mouth-watering meal. This is the kind of pie that says, I love you. I want to share some of my yummy family favourites. Dishes for every kind of day. But like any busy family, no two days are ever the same in my house. It smells incredible in here. So I love having a range of quick and easy ideas ready for any occasion. Okay. Okay, I'm stuck. Each week, I'm going to share simple and delicious recipes for different kinds of family days, from manic weekdays to wind-down weekends. Yep, I'm going to add all of it. And I don't feel a pang of guilt. I'll be exploring the everyday ingredients we all have in our cupboards. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? To see how to get the best out of them. Passion fruit. <laughs> How did I get it? You make that look really easy. It is easy. And I'm also going to travel the country meeting inspirational home cooks. I hope my kids aren't expecting this for tea. Who go the extra mile to make scrumptious products most of us buy in the shops. Oh, no. <laughs> so, I hope you're hungry. We all have those days when the cupboards look bare. But it's just too easy to keep going to the shops and buying more. I don't love shopping, so if I can avoid the supermarket and eke out what I've got in the house for one last day, it makes me really happy. It makes me feel like Supermom. When it seems like there's nothing in the house, my use everything up dishes are ginger rice with spicy chickpeas, avocado pasta with peas and mint, and carrot cake pakoras with cream cheese dip. But first, my fruit salad for touche, a great way to use up any fruit at the bottom of the bowl. For touche is a Middle Eastern salad topped with crunchy croutons made from toasted flatbread. My version is great for breakfast. So I've got some tortilla wraps left over from the kids' lunch boxes. Now you can make these as big or as small as you like, but I like a little bit of that crunch with every mouthful. So I've got these chopped up, I've got my pan on, Whack a load of butter in there. Oh, you know what? Let's just use the lot. So spread out my chopped up tortilla. And then I'm going to pour my butter all over the top. Best thing about a salad like this is that you never really make the same salad twice. Because you just don't know what you're going to have left over. It transforms itself every single week. Mix together brown sugar, cinnamon and a pinch of salt and sprinkle over the tortillas, making sure everything is coated. These are actually really good, not even toasted. Pop the tray into the oven for 10 minutes at 180 degrees. So now onto the fruit salad bit. So I like to mix my fruit salad up. It literally is a case of what have I got. And I, when I say what have I got, I don't just mean my fruit bowl. Every time I have some leftover soft fruit, I pop it into a freezer bag. Nothing goes to waste. When I've got a decent amount of fruit, I can use it for something, whether it be jam, whether it be fruit salad, whatever. So I've got raspberries and blueberries in here. Whack those in there. And I've got dried pineapple. My kids love dried fruit. Roughly cut the dried pineapple. I use scissors much easier than a knife. And I'm adding my dried fruit next because I've got the moisture from the frozen fruit as it's defrosting. It's going to start rehydrating that pineapple. Now, in my house, we're lucky if we've ever got strawberries left over. But sometimes the kids leave the bruised fruit. Well, when you're putting fruit in a fruit salad, nobody really sees the bruises and the kind of knocked bits, not the shiniest, like, supermarket perfect strawberries. It's all going in a salad. And as my mum always says, it's all going in one stomach, so who cares? I used to tell my kids a little lie. I used to say that when fruit goes brown, it's turning into chocolate. Any fruit that has seen better days can go in. Because I don't have any apples or bananas or fruit that's going to go really brown in here, this can sit in the fridge. And I think that the longer it sits in the fridge and the more those juices come out, the tastier it becomes. Some overripe passion fruit and a sad, lonely orange are a perfect addition. 
They were not making that sound before. That is the sound that says they're ready. These will keep for a couple of weeks. Oh, no, one fell into my mouth accidentally. Whenever I make a fruit salad, I always put a bit of parsley in. I think herbs have this ability to take something that tastes good and it just kind of lifts it to make it taste out of this world. Finally, add some sunflower seeds before mixing it all together. There's no need to be gentle. I'm just kind of with my spoon going in and the more you kind of toss it around and move it around and bruise the outer edges of the fruit, the more juices that you get. And that's it, that's done. I wish you could smell this. It smells like a perfume. It's, mm. But it's not a fatouche yet, not till I've put my fatouche bits on. Mm. My husband always tells me that I make something out of nothing. <laughs> Sometimes it just works out. Fruit salad fatouche. It's a little bit of magic conjured from nothing. Thank you.